Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to talk about dating an addict and what I and my experience with that. When I was 18, this little girl that was that lived by my house got herself into a car wreck and was killed. She had been having a lot of problems and uh, well, she, she just did a lot of bad shit and got, you know, she broke into houses, stole cars, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I met her mom at the funeral and uh, I ended up falling in love with her within a week. However, she was a drug addict and uh, she was built very nicely. I didn't think she could be a drug addict. And to be honest, at the time, I thought to myself, I'm a drug addict. I do this. Well, that was a long time ago, and I was smoking cigarettes back then, but now I smoke these. In any, in any case, I vape now, and uh, that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, is this girl was addicted to heroin. She stole from me. She stole from pretty much everybody. And uh, one thing I learned about addicts is that they're really, really good at... Um, conning people. And not only that, they're very good at getting you to, con convincing you to give them a second chance, or sometimes a third chance. Um, what they do is they, is when you fall in love with an addict, a lot of people say that, you know, you get addicted to trying to help them or save them. I never saw myself as doing that. I saw myself as a guy who was her boy, who was trying to become her boyfriend and get out of the friend zone and all that crap, which believe it or not, I did. I ended up doing it, doing it with her. And uh, what happens, happens is, is that sometimes they make it look like they're changing, like that they'll be loyal, that they'll prove themselves reliable, and then when the time comes, they will backstab you. And they are basically the architects of their own misery. And they're not gonna change. It's when you're you addicted to something like that, you're just not gonna change. And I mean, she was an over, a, she was a, not just an overachiever, she was a super achiever in her younger years. Um, there was a, there was, and still is a 16 year age difference between us. She's 16 years older than I am. And when I was 18, I, all, all I could think about was that MILF money. I got that, I got that, I got that MILF money. There's actually a song called that, check it out, if you haven't already. Um, and, uh, what happened is, is like 18 year olds do, I was thinking with my dick and it bit me. And um, fast forward the clocks, 10 years later, she shows up. She shows up again and uh, I start, we start dating and uh, things were good for a while. She had just had, had a new kid and I thought things were going to change. Lo and behold, they didn't. I She stole money from me and left me stranded in the downtown of my city and I ended up having to walk 20 miles to get home through the cold and um, the reality is is that um, she has basically since she does this periodically she goes addicts do this they, they go ghost on people for several reasons they don't you, if they're on it like a drug like heroin or something, they usually don't want to be bothered in the first place. Because heroin, you're just like... Ugh. Anyhow, they also want to, you to have a cool down period. So you won't be as mad at them when you see them next. And uh, so that they can call you again. There is one person who said that it's easier to be an addict than to love one. And uh, when you have an addict in your family or fall in love with one, it quickly gets at you. You, I went through this, how could I have been so stupid? How, why didn't I see? Blah, 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 blah. 
I um, basically thought it could work because we were there. What they do is they make it feel like it's you and them against the rest of the world. And that's how they, how they get people to, how they latch on to enablers. They make it feel like it's you and them against the world. And when that happens, you form a bond with them and you become like this. And um, that's how they do it. They make it feel like they, they're, they're all you have and you are all they have. And I've been in situations like that before, not just with her. And boy, do, do you get a tight bond there going. And uh, when you date an addict, it's like you generally will end up walking away with a sense of failure. You failed them. You failed yourself. And um, a lot of people, it's like turning a bad boy into a good good boy, that, that fantasy for a lot of girls. and. Some guys just try to turn a hoe into a housewife. They're frequently attempted and they often fail. And they always fail. And uh, it's just, you know, you will probably spend years thinking about the relationship you had with that addict or them or whatever. And, uh, Thinking about what went wrong, what did I do wrong, what could I have done to make it better, you know, things like that run through your head. Why did I fail? Why did they relapse? And uh, they will lie, they will make excuses, they will steal, and they will cry incessantly. But the reality is, is that they usually don't change. I mean, I'm sure that sure there's a few people who've been off for years, but all it takes normally is just one hit of whatever they were doing, and they are back to their old selves. They are back to lying, cheating, stealing, and crying. And it's usually a roller coaster. <clears throat> they're on it. They they get off it for a while. They're on it for a while. They get off it for a while. They are on it for a while. Get off. Get off it for a while. They're on it for a while. They get off it for a while. It just goes up and down, 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 up and down. And uh, they often get into serious trouble, not just with the uh, legal system. That's often a big part of it. But they also get in trouble with some pretty nasty characters a lot of the time. Like people that will kill you for not paying up or something like that. Because that's who they go to to buy drugs. And uh, if they are doing, or if they are going near drug dealers, they have a lot of really nasty people around them. Very violent people. And uh, they're constantly putting their lives in danger. They also have a assortment of diseases. She, this girl I'm talking about has hepatitis C. Thankfully, I did not get it. But um, I was always using protection. It paid off. That being said is um, the whole thing about, an ad, about dating an addict is if you were looking in that you're looking outward at yourself, you'd probably think, what a dumbass, you know? But, hey, when you're actually in it, you can't see it, but everybody else can. And uh, it just really saps you. Towards the end, you will be drained, and you will be damn near insane. You'll be like, what the hell happened? She ran off with some other guy, and uh, it was just like, I was thinking all those things. What the hell happened? What's going on? What was all that? 
was I drew, I even started to think I was becoming schizophrenic. And uh, truth is, is healing from it is very hard. It took me, it took me years, okay, to get over her because I was still thinking about her. And uh, because what they do is they come into your life, they will be there for a while, and you'll do they'll do, you'll just be inseparable, and one day it's poof, they're off. And usually it's with your money, but it, but just because you give not giving the money doesn't mean that they, they won't go ghost on you. They will go ghost at any time. It's completely unpredictable. Not even, I'm pretty sure not even they can predict it. It's just when they say they will change, they honestly believe it. That's why they're so good at conning. They believe everything they say. But all it takes is one moment of weakness, and they're back to and it's back to square, back to square one, back to digging in dumpsters, back to shooting up heroin, back to whoring themselves out, back to stealing, back to lying, back to cheating. All it takes is one weak moment, and they're back with a vengeance. And sadly, that's just the way it is. Anyway. I hope you have found this video helpful. I am just recanting some of the things I've learned from dealing with that with an addict. I hope you found this helpful. I really do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and if you can, leave a donation. It's for a really good cause. Thank you.